Hello friends. Welcome to our channel Instrument Calibration. If you are new on this channel, and if you have missed our previous videos, then you can find links in the description box. And if you do not want to miss any videos in future, then please subscribe this channel, and press bell icon to get notification. Like previous video, this video is also on RTD connection. In this video, I am going to show, how to connect 2 wire RTD on 3 wire temperature transmitter. And how to connect 2 wire RTD on 4 wire temperature transmitter. First of all, let's learn. How to connect 2 wire RTD on 3 wire temperature transmitter. As you can see from this diagram, this is a standard practice to connect 2 wire RTD on 3 wire temperature transmitter. In this method, Non-current carrying wire should extend from the transmitter terminal to sensor itself. And junction made between current carrying wire and non-current carrying cable should be as close to sensor as possible. This practice eliminate voltage drop, which is caused by current carrying wires. And this will give us the actual voltage drop, which is caused by RTD itself. In addition to this, it is important to keep equal length of non-current carrying wire and current carrying wire. As you can see from this diagram, this is incorrect way to connect 2 wire RTD on 3 wire temperature transmitter. It is because, jumpers placed at transmitter terminals defeat the purpose of transmitter's 3 wire, or 4 wire capability, and downgrading its performance to that of 2 wire system. In other words, this type of connection degrade the performance of 3 wire and 4 wire transmitter. And this type of practice lead to inaccurate temperature measurement. So, it is advised to avoid junction at or near to temperature transmitter. In this section, I am going to show, how to connect 2 wire RTD on 4 wire temperature transmitter. As you can see from this diagram, this is a standard practice to connect 2 wire RTD on 4 wire temperature transmitter. In this method, 2 non-current carrying wire should extend from the transmitter terminal to sensor itself. And junction made between current carrying wire and non-current carrying cable should be as close to sensor as possible. This practice eliminate voltage drop, which is caused by current carrying wires. And this will give us the actual voltage drop, which is caused by RTD itself. As you can see from this diagram, this is incorrect way to connect 2 wire RTD on 4 wire temperature transmitter. This is because, jumpers placed at transmitter terminals defeat the purpose of transmitter's 3-wire, or 4-wire capability, and downgrading its performance to that of 2-wire system. In other words, this type of connection degrade the performance of 3-wire and 4-wire transmitter. So, this type of connection should be avoided for accurate temperature measurements. Thank you friends for watching this video. If you like our content, then please hit like button. And if you think our content is informative for others, then please share this video with others. And if you have any questions about this video, then please ask your question in comment box.